Hey guys, Superintendent Boff here, and I'm here with video two um, of my Xcode build series. This is build series number one, um, and in this series I'll be teaching you how to make a universal iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad application. So this is video number two. Uh, series number one is going to be ten videos in length, so if you haven't seen video one, go, go and check it out. The link will be in the description. Uh, but if you have, then you're in the right place now to come and watch video number two. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be covering icons and adding an iPad icon and adding an iPhone and iPod Touch icon into your universal iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad application. Um, so, let's get started. So, you're going to need two things. Now, uh, just before we start, I'd like to state that you could have a third icon as well um, to add extra support for the iPhone 4 but that's optional you don't actually have to if you don't want to um, and for the purpose of this tutorial I won't be going into that alright so um, on my desktop as you can see I've got two icons I've made okay here is one called icon and it's called icon-72 and I've got another one called icon so there's two differences between these two icons. Uh, the icon-72 is a 72 by 72 uh, PNG image. Um, and this is the icon which we're going to be using for um, our iPad side of the application. Um, and then the, the other icon, which is just called icon, is a 57 by 57 PNG image. Um, and this is the icon which we will be using for our iPhone and iPod Touch side of the application. So, basically, make sure both images are in PNG format. Make sure the iPhone and the iPod Touch one is called Icon, and the size is 57 by 57. And for the iPad, make sure the name is Icon-72, and make sure the size is a 72 by 72 size image. And obviously, make sure the format is a PNG file. So, once you've got your icons ready, we're just going to drag and drop them into our resources folder. And we're just going to copy items in. So, there's our icons icon.png and icon-72.png. Alright, so how do we um, tell Xcode that these are the icons we have available? And, you know, these are the ones we want to use for the iPad, and these are the ones we want to use for the iPhone. Um, well, it's very simple. Uh, just come down into your .plist file, and you'll notice uh, one of the tabs says Icon File. So, we're just going to double tap on Icon File, and we're just going to edit this to Icon Files with an extra S. Uh, you notice now this now actually becomes an array, and if we just click this icon here, uh, we actually get an option below here. So, we get one option below Icon Files, or one tab. Uh, I'm going to add one other tab because we want one for the iPad and one for the iPhone. So just click this tab which says item 0 and beside it we have a plus button. So click the plus button and we get another item which says item 1. And so now we've got two tabs under icon files or two items uh, where we're going to add our iPad icon and our iPhone icon. So in icon 0, just double tap the value column and type in the name of your iPad icon. So mine's called icon-72. Icon-72. Icon and then obviously put the format file as well. So, so it's a .png, so we're going to put .png. All right. Click enter and then you'll come down a row um, and we're down to item 1. This is where we're going to uh, specify the... Um, iPhone and iPod Touch icon. So I'm going to call it, uh, well, mine's called icon.png. So I'm just going to type in icon.png. Save that. Alright, there we have it. So we've just gone and specified um, an icon uh, for the iPad and an icon for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Alright, so um, there we have it guys, that's uh, the end of video number two for my very first Xcode build series, um, and be sure to check out my channel uh, soon where I'll be continuing this Xcode build series, um, and then next time we'll be going through splash screens or loading screens, uh, then we're going to be going over uh, the code, your code for your iPad application and the code for your iPhone application. Then we're going to be going over UI um, and upgrading your UIs to have full support for the iPod, 
for the iPad, sorry. And when I say full support for the iPad, I don't just mean the screen size, I mean also having full support for all iPad orientations. Um, and then after that, we're just going to be going into uh, debug and testing, and then after that, we'll finally be going into uh, distributing the iPhone application. Um, and I don't usually make, well, I haven't made at all a tutorial before on how to distribute an iPhone application, but I want to go over that in this series, um, just to go over, obviously, how you would distribute your iPad or, or your universal application because it's a little bit different um, than how you would distribute an iPhone application or an iPhone and an iPod application. All right, so uh, thank you very much for watching, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.